Today, we're gonna try the Vegan Rob's. We have sorghum cheddar puffs, sorghum beet puffs, sorghum cauliflower puffs, sorghum Brussels sprout puffs, and these are the probiotic dragon puffs. They're, they're dragon. Hot. They're a hot or something. These were <laughs> $2.50 each at the Fresh Market, so um, if you can find them elsewhere other than the Fresh Market, other than Whole Foods as well, yeah. they'll probably be cheaper. Uh, yeah, Kroger does sell them, but they don't have very many flavors. No, they don't. They only had like two flavors, didn't they? Yeah, it was like Brussels sprouts and cauliflower or something, yeah. something like that. So, yeah. so, uh, so you might check your Kroger. If it's bigger than ours, they might have more. And someone told me, somebody commented that they actually sell Vegan Rob's uh, crisps, some kind of crisps. I don't know if they're potato chips or if they're uh, like tortilla chips or what, I don't know. I'm not mm. sure, but they, uh, some kind of chips and I just don't remember. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, I have not seen those around here, have you? No, just I've these, only just seen the these puffs. puffs, so we'll be on the lookout for those though. Uh, so first we figured we'd start with what was gonna be the lightest flavor. <laughs> it seems to be the no most normal, normal Cheddar. flavor. Yeah. These are dairy-free, crunchy good. Uh, they're vegan, gluten-free. Let's see what it says on the back. Uh, yeah, vegan, gluten-free. Uh, three and a half servings per container. One ounce, uh, 28 grams, uh, is 140 calories. And it says Vegan Rob's Dairy-Free Cheddar Puffs are the absolute bomb. They are so creamy, crunchy, and delicious. Extra yum, made from the finest plant-based ingredients to satisfy your heart and your belly. Eating our plant-based snacks is better for everyone and supports your compassion for all life. We at Vegan Rob's are always dedicated to creating and producing the finest plant-based dairy-free snacks. Join us and send a case to a friend. Um, it's easy. We want to be there for you in your awe-inspiring journey. Share this experience and feed the world. Love yourself, our planet, and all living things. Snack as cool and kind as possible. Vegan Rob, visionary plant-based Puff Master. He is a Puff Master. <laughs> they're all 140 calories. The they're master the, of the puffs. They're all the same calories. The puffinator. Here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They're kind of purple. The Puff Master. I wonder how long she's gonna go with the puff thing. <laughs> That's actually really good. You know what I was thinking about. Mm -hmm. The Saturday Night Live skit. Yeah, where they make coffees. Mm -hmm. I love that. I can go on and on with that, you know that. They smell horrible. They smell funky, funky, funky. They smell like the inside of someone's tennis shoe. See, I don't smell them, so. But they taste good to me. Yep, yeah, they have a good cheese flavor. Mm -hmm. Now, I do have to say, once you've eaten them, the cheese flavor goes away really fast. Then you're left with that underlying whatever that crust, whatever the puff is made out of. So it's um, it smells like cheese. Oh, it smells okay. like funky cheese. Okay. Well, the inside of someone's tennis shoe that they've worn around Disney in the rain all day. Yes. Okay. Um, it smells like cheese. <laughs> no, but it, it does taste good. It they does have really a good taste. Does. I don't like necessarily like the aftertaste of whatever that puff was made out of. I don't necessarily like that uh, that that taste you're left with because mm -hmm. the cheese is gone. Right. And you're left with that puff taste. I like it okay. through and through. I think it's good. Yeah. If, I, if I don't have to smell them, that's better. If you just already have them on the plate. But um, I think I like the cheese through and through. And I think it's good. good. I'm not left with any bad taste in my mouth. I think it's, it's not good. bad. It's just different. So are these all different calories? Like, no, they're all the same. I've said this three times now. You oh, were, have you said You it? were doing the Rob Nader and Rob, yeah. They're all the same the calories. The Puffinator. The Puffmeister. They're all the same calories. Okay, these are beet. These are beet. I haven't had beet. a beet since I was a kid. Um, I haven't either. Pretty much tastes like what I remember as a kid. Actually, not bad. You know, I got, it tastes like a beet. I have to say, these don't smell. They don't smell. Okay. Um, um, it, it, it tastes like something... Um, a vegetable. Mm -hmm. it, tastes like <laughs> it tastes like something healthy. Um, once I swallowed it, I do not mind the flavor that I'm left with no, at all. Not this time. No. I think that I could... 
I think that I could get used to eating these. Um, right now, it is a sh it, the beet flavor is very, very strong, but I'm not used to eating beets. No, I beets think are okay. If you eat beets all the time, I think you will really enjoy these. And like I said, it, there's no offensive uh, flavor in my mouth at all right now. No, beets are, beets are fairly low key. Okay, so that are you scared about the next one? The cauliflower. No, the cauliflower I can lose. I'm really more worried about the bitterness the of those Brussels sprouts. Because of how sharp and bitter they are. Where did that come from? You dropped it over. Oh, okay. It's off this side. <laughs> That's what I was like. Is that pie guy putting some out? Hey, right, so this one's cauliflower. It doesn't smell bad. So what are the really... calories on these? Oh, it's just. <laughs> <laughs> killing her. <laughs> okay. So cauliflower. You like cauliflower. Though. Those are my favorite so far. I wouldn't say those taste like cauliflower. Those are really good. Mm -mm. Those don't have like a garlicky onion. I know, but those don't taste like cauliflower. They're really good. Um, they use onion powder and garlic onion powder. powder. Yeah. And they, that's what I think. They use black pepper, white pepper. Yes, you're tasting the garlic powder and onion powder. Mm -hmm. Those, these are the best ones so far. I don't know why they don't say that on there somewhere. Uh, they're cauliflower puffs, but they're, they have their garlic flour or onion Yeah, flour. because that makes them more attractive to people like us. Because mm -hmm. I was a little worried about those, because I don't really like cauliflower. Well, I love cauliflower raw. I like to eat it raw and dip it in like ranch dressing. I love it that way. Um, but now, when you get it on like these cauliflower pizzas, so, like the last cauliflower pizzas Kevin and I bought were those Oprah ones. Oh, they were. They were the absolute worst pizzas. Ever. And from the comments, other people Ever thought the like same thing. Yes. Yeah. So, strong. I don't feel bad. It was too strong. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, you can't taste the cauliflower. Yes, you can. Yeah. You can taste you can the cauliflower. It, taste it. And I don't like cooked cauliflower. So, beets don't taste like cauliflower at all, even though I like cauliflower. They just, they taste like garlic and onion. Those no, are delicious. They, I think they're good. The only way I like cauliflower is if it's covered in cheese. <laughs> and cooked where it's mushy. I like it. I like it cooked. What did they call it uh, in the UK? They, it was like a cheesy cauliflower. Yeah. Are so we, it was like our broccoli casserole. It was like a casserole made but, out of cauliflower. Yeah, just cauliflower and cheese. No, these are Brussels sprouts. That's a lot of Brussels sprouts. But you know what? They might have flavoring too. Oh, mm, they taste very salty. When my mom would make Brussels sprouts for dinner, which oh, wasn't no. very often at all, but we would put like half the salt shaker on those things to make them not taste so green. I'm talking about me and my sister, but not mom and dad did it. This once again, those are actually pretty good. Has onion powder and garlic powder. I do think some of the Brussels sprout flavor comes through. It does through. a little bit more so than the cauliflower. Yes, but they have still masked it enough to where if you're wanting to get your Brussels sprouts this way, <laughs> then I think this is a good way to get it and you're not tasting all that grain. Yeah, I don't know how many of those you'd have to eat to get your daily dose I know, of that's the thing. <laughs> I don't know if you are if you should Probably be not eating these them. in order to get your vegetables. No, I don't think so. Okay, these are the Dragon Puffs. I'm excited about these. Fire. Fire breathing, crunchy heat. Okay. We don't know what these are supposed to be. Probably something funky. Oh, it looks Maybe good. it's just the regular puffs that just fire, they're just hot. It says there is smoked Paprika. serrano chili pepper. Um, it says our thing. Uh, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika. Oh. You'll love vegan rubs. Um, no, it's saying try our legendary puffs. It's saying the same thing as on the. Oh, oh okay. I thought it said. Yeah. Same. It just added the, um, okay. yeah, it's telling you other ones. I thought it had. said it was good. But I told you what it had anyway from the. Mm, I like the smokiness you get from Garlic right powder, off. onion powder, chili powder. Paprika. Kosher, gluten free, zero trans fat, non GMO. Those um, will set your tongue oh. on fire. 
Mm. I like the flavor of them. I do too. They're, um, they're like the first one, but this is the cheese ones without the cheese. The puff is the same. They've just put this um, fiery seasoning on them. Yeah. I, I like these. Unfortunately, I could hot. not eat a lot of them because they're so hot. Yeah, they're um, too hot for us. Yeah. I would like to see them do a uh, sriracha. Yeah. I would like them to do these puffs in sriracha. I think it would be delicious. That way it's something kind of in the middle. Yeah. Sriracha, that way you're getting some some uh, flavor, but you're not getting the, the hot, hot, hot. Yeah. Because this is really hot. It is. It's hot to be hot. I got a little bit of that smoke flavor at first. Yeah, I do get flavor. There now is I'm just left with, flavor. like, I've taken a spoonful of chili powder and eaten it. Yeah, it, it's super hot. So if you like super hot, you're going to love these. Um, surprise of all surprises. I mean, like, biggest surprise ever. My favorite one are the cauliflower. Cauliflower is probably my favorite ones, too. They're delicious, and it's because they taste like... The cheddar ones are good, but the flavor just goes one, away really fast. Cheddar ones are good for me. Those would be... The cheddar would be my second choice. And then Brussels sprouts. And then Brussels sprouts, yeah. That'd, yeah. Be, that'd be kind of my order, too. And I would have never in a million years thought that. Yeah. But, yeah, we so we agree. And I'm going to be honest... Um, the, the, the beet ones are good too. The, if you the, the my dragon beets. ones, I just I personally couldn't get them because they're so hot. But I really do like the flavor. I do yeah. like the smoky. Smoky, it's very smoky. So, so if you like hot food, you'll you'll like that. But if they have, if they ever come out with another one that's more tamed down, then I could have them in the middle. Uh, but I'll I'll be on the lookout for the chips, whatever those are. Um, I just haven't seen them around here yet, but I can be on the lookout for them. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll have a picture of our plate for you at the end and thanks for watching.